I turned my backpacks from this to this and turned my purse all the way from zero coins to almost 100 million. These 10 hours of ghost grinding and high pixel skyblock were insane. Stick around to the end to see absolutely everything that happened. Alright, found an empty lobby, got my live spot timer ready to go, and I'll start it as soon as I start hitting the ghosts. This is also a good time to mention, if you do like the look of ghosts or want to get into them, there is a nice guide on my channel that'll teach you everything you need to know. So click the card in the top right if you are interested in getting into it, but make sure you still watch the rest of the 10 hours. Future me editing here, just popping in to say a few things. First of all, throughout the hour we would occasionally get people who would come in and start hitting my ghosts. I would generally pause the timer until they left or either I had to leave and then I'd resume the timer. Luckily it didn't happen too often and the one that we got during this hour left after I asked and I don't think we lost any major time. And for most of the hours I'm either just gonna cut to the end of it or do some fast transition like this if I need to say anything. Well, uh, on to the end of the hour. Here we are at the end of hour 1 of 10. Okay, actually, just as we ended that, we just got a sorrow. This is what we got from the first hour. We actually got a bag of coins drop, although it doesn't show up in SBE. That's why you have 2 million coins. 1 million of that was obviously obtained from killing ghosts. So I'm going to do some quick calculations. I'll put the hourly rate on screen, and then in a second I'll start on the next hour. Alright, let's jump into hour 2 of 10. Looks like we've got a guy coming in, but luckily he's gonna leave, so nothing to stop us from getting on with the hour. Alright, let's go, we hit milestone 11 on my ghost piece theory. I think this will probably be the last time that we hit a milestone this challenge, since the next tier is pretty far away. But it's still very good, since we get extra magic find and strength against the ghosts. Well, it's a bit annoying, but we have a server reboot. I'm mostly through the hour, so I'll just come back, find a new lobby, and we'll resume. The next cut will probably be at the 2 hour mark. While past me goes about as gross grinding, let me tell you about a secret new update that Skyblock just released. No, it's not M7, it's the subscribe button. If you click it in the next 5 seconds, only on my channel, you'll get a secret achievement in Skyblock. But, for real, memes aside, I'm a very small channel, and I've easily put in over 15 hours into this video, recording and editing so far, and it would just mean the world and really help spread the word of my channel to subscribe. There's tons of cool content on the way, and you won't want to miss it. Plus, you can always change your mind later if you decide you don't like what I'm producing. So, please consider it, and back to past me. Just finished hour 2, we got 16 sorrows from this hour, but interestingly we actually did get some gem runes. So that means there are so many gems in my rune sack that it's overflowing. So I'll go clear that out and I'll come back for hour 3. Alright, ready for hour 3. Just to save you a little bit of time, I'm going to cut to the end of hour 3, hour 4, and just to the end of hour 5 as well. That should put us over the halfway point of this challenge. So... Just came to the end of hour 3, we got some pretty good RNG this time, getting 22 sorrows, so we'll have made definitely a lot of money, and we're probably going to level up combat by the next hour. Alright, hour four's over, we got a little worse RNG, but it's still pretty good. When we finish this next hour, I'll have officially hit the halfway point of the 10 hours of gross grinding. Alright, with these last couple seconds, we are officially at the halfway point of this challenge. We actually got some pretty good RNG for this hour, getting 20 sorrows and a couple pairs of ghostly boots. I'll once again do calculations, and we'll start on the second half of this video. Future me here again, now that we're at the halfway point of the challenge. It's a lot easier for you and me if I just give you a quick montage of what happens, and then just show you hour 10. So here's what happened from hour 6 to 9. From hour 6 we got 6.6 .6 million coins, getting 22 sorrows. Hour 7 gave us 5.1 million coins and 16 sorrows. I did go to bed after hour 7 so the timer will reset, but hours 1, 2 and 3 on the timer are actually 8, 9 and 10, so just keep that in mind. Hour 8 gave us 7.7 .7 million coins and 21 sorrows. Hour 9 gave us 7 million coins with 23 sorrows, and here's what happened during hour 10. 
Here we are, the final hour, hour 10 of the challenge. I'm just, I'm just so excited to finish this. It's been so long of just ghost grinding over two days. I'm mainly excited about just taking all the money I've earned and putting it together. It's going to be insane. All that's left to do is just start hitting ghosts. And after 10 hours, I have finally finished the ghost grinding challenge. Accidentally went 2 seconds over, but that's going to make no difference. Alright, our 10 ghost drops are going in the final slot of the backpack. Well, I'm going to do some final calculations, sell off all the drops, and then we'll do a giveaway. The best way to sell all my sorrows was to turn them into sorry chest plates, and then put them on AH. I put them from numbers ranging from 6.8 million to 6.2 million coins. So while they sell, let me tell you about all the drops we got from these 10 hours. On average, we made about 6.7 million coins per hour, which is really good considering my setup is still not maxed. We got 196 total Sorrows, 171 total Volta, 85 total Plasma, 12 pairs of Ghostly Boots, 13.3 million coins were dropped from Ghost Kills, killed 23.7 thousand Ghosts, and finally gained 4.5 million Combat XP across 10 hours. After a bit of day of waiting, and putting up and taking down Sorrow Chest Plates, I finally sold them all, giving me 74.2 million coins after all 10 hours. Unfortunately, I was an idiot, and didn't record this process at all, but luckily I did take this screenshot. While I wrap up this video, you'll see me giving away Sorrow Boots, that I did some extra grinding for that wasn't counted towards a challenge. All that footage is rolling in the background while I talk. I just want to thank you all for making it to the end of this video, it means a lot, I put a lot of hard work into this, and subscribing just really helps make a difference to the channel. If you want to know something about me or the video, feel free to also comment down below, and with all this out of the way, I'll see you in the next video.